everyone today i am going to discuss about radio carbon dating method radio carbon dating method is very important in finding the time periods of specimens it might be fossils it might be material remains so in order to find the time period how many years back the specimen belongs to which time period the specimen belongs to which phase whether it is pleistocene or miocene or eocene in order to find the time periods we will be using several methods which are called as dating methods finding the time periods finding the specific times are called as dating methods in that dating methods two methods are there one is absolute dating method another is relative dating method absolute dating method means we will be understanding specific time period so this particular fossil or this particular specimen specimen means object tool so that tool belongs to which time which year this was alive at which period this was made in which year so absolutely we will be finding the time that is called as absolute dating method whereas relative dating method means we cannot find the absolute time we will be finding the relative time so this particular fossil or this particular specimen was present in that particular age it was present later it was present early if we take dinosaur as the standard pre dinosaur post dinosaur in that way relatively we will be finding the time so in that absolute dating method and relative dating method in absolute dating methods radio carbon dating method is very authentic and very absolutely we will be getting the time very absolutely we will be getting the time so what is that radio carbon dating method i am going to discuss now so this particular topic of radio carbon dating method either may be absolute or relative will be discussed in anthropology syllabus paper 1 1.8a which is called as principles of prehistoric archaeology relative and absolute dating method 1.8a there are two dating methods are there one is called as relative dating method other is called as absolute dating method so now i am going into the absolute dating method so first you offer your introduction the pdf will be provided in the youtube in the description you can download the pdf dating techniques deals with the measurement of age of tangible objects mainly with respect to tangible objects not intangible objects tangible objects means materials like a dead body like a fossil like a material remain like a specimen those objects we can find the time period so for the finding the age of the tangible objects we will be using this dating methods the time based studies are necessary to access the evolutionary changes the technological development the systematic evolution and the cultural development how systematically the evolution is happening we can understand 5000 years ago we got one fossil 3000 years ago we got one fossil 5000 years ago fossil is not having some humanly features 3000 fossil is having some humanly features then we will come to a conclusion it's a just an example we will come to a conclusion that the 3000 years fossil is more evolved he is more near to the human being in that way we will be finding the time periods if we see that stone tools or we see the hand axes if hand axes is very rudimentary and when we date it it is showing somewhere around 60000 years ago another fossil i another another hand axes i got when i dated it it is showing 20000 years ago oh it is the process of evolution so that was rudimentary hand axes this is sophisticated hand axes we will be understanding in that way how how the rudimentary hand axes are evolving into sophisticated hand axes nothing but what technological advancement cultural development so that we will be understanding through time basis so 60000 years ago 20000 years ago in this particular time period obviously the evolution happens so that particular time period we will be studying in this particular dating methods so the dating methods are two one is absolute dating method and relative dating method so today class we will be discussing about the absolute dating method this method is also called as chronometric dating method means specifically we will be finding the time so this fossil or this specimen specimen means objects tools fossils means dead body skeletons dead bodies so this particular dead body or this particular specimen were found how many years back absolutely we will be finding the time period that is called as chronometric dating method it is to date a specimen from a site in absolute terms to establish a connection between specimen and universal time scale in that universal time scale in that universal time scale where this particular specimen fits 
so for example 1 to 1 lakh years ago so we will find that this is somewhere around 35000 years ago absolutely we will be finding the time period in absolute dating method in that i am going to discuss today about radiocarbon dating method radiocarbon dating method is most famous and most authentic and most popular dating method absolute dating method so what happens here what happens here means when you know that carbon c6 12 12 is mass number and 6 is atomic number c6 12 so in atmosphere everywhere carbon is present so similarly nitrogen is also present in atmosphere when the nitrogen is present when it is bombarded by the sun when it is bombarded with the solar radiation so the nitrogen will be having seven proton and seven neutron this seven proton and seven neutron will be changing into because of the bombardment of the solar power it will change into six proton and eight neutron which is nothing but six proton means atomic number six atomic number six is nothing but a carbon so it will be changing into the c614 which is called as radioactive carbon so radioactive carbon has been formed so from our school education we know that radioactive whatever the radioactive is there unstable it cannot be stable it will be diffusing it will be changing its form so in this method what we will be understanding that c14 c6 c14 and c6 is 12 that means stable radio carbon c612 and radioactive carbon c614 the mass number is 14 so what happened in the process of life in the process of evolution in the process of life and in the process of evolution in the process of life see the carbon is there in the atmosphere the carbon is taken by the trees and the trees are eaten by some animals and human beings is eating animals and plants so in that way the carbon which is present in the atmosphere the carbon which is present entered into the plants the carbon which is entered into the animals is entering into the human beings is entering into the human beings so in our body also we will be having naturally available c612 and this radioactive carbon is also entering into our body so presumably what is the concept in human beings in living beings either it may be plants either it may be animals c612 by c614 that means the ratio of radioactive carbon and normal stable carbon ratio in the human beings and all the living beings will be presumably ratio will be same with the atmospheric c614 by c612 so both the ratio will be same but if once man got fossilized when man got fossilized or when animal got fossilized when organic material that means life living beings got fossilized the c614 which is there in the form of radioactive carbon will be decomposing c614 which is there in the living bodies will be decomposing and that decomposing will be if you calculate if you calculate that decomposing will be off life off life will be there for example if you see at death 100% of c12 so the man died it is c1400% then the c14 is getting decomposed for example 100 grams of c14 is there at the time of his death so now a dead body i got which is only 50 grams that means 50% of c14 that means half life 5730 so for every 5730 years what is the quantity of c14 which is present at the time of the death will be becoming off will be becoming off so 5730 years it will take to decompose into off if it is 100 grams it will become 50 grams in 5730 just example and if it is 50 grams it will become 25 grams after 5730 if it is 25 grams it come to 12.5 grams when it is 5730 if you see at a death it is 100 percent of c14 and at after 5730 it is 50 percent of c14 and at 11 that means 5730 plus 5730 is 11460 years how much it is 25 percent of c14 and 17190 years when the c14 amount is how much 12.5 percent so when the 12.5 percent is present in the carbon 14 in the species which shows that it is 17,190 years old 117 that means 17 years 190 years old when the carbon c14 the radioactive carbon which is present in the 
dead body is only 12.5 percent so presumably i am taking an example it should be 100 grams but it is only 12.5 it is 100 grams it is 100 grams, it is only 12.5 percent, means it shows that it is 17,190 years back. In this way, we will be finding, in this way, we will be finding the time period. For example, if it is 12.5 percent, if it is 6.75 percent, for example, if it is 6.25 percent, if it is 6.25 percent, then it shows that 17190 plus 5730. If it is more of, then 17190 plus 5730 plus 5730 that many years back. So, how much of radiocarbon, radioactive carbon which is present in the fossils will give us that many years back? And there is a limitation is there for this radioactive carbon. Na? That is, it is helpful in only 50,000 years old fossils only, not more than 50,000 years old fossils. So, in this way, for example, 14C is produced in the atmosphere. 14C is oxidized and forms car carbon dioxide. It is present in the form of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide and carbon is used by plants in photosynthesis. 14C is incorporated in plant tissues, entered into plant tissues, and it is absorbed by the oceans. Animals consume in ocean food, we will animals will be consuming, or man will be consuming oceans, or man will be consuming the animals, or man will be consuming the plants. So, in this way, when it got fossilized, in this fossil, C14 will be present, that C14 will be decomposing, decomposing, decomposing. So, 50% it decomposes for every 5730 years. In this way, we are calculating this. So, the ratio of radioactive C14 to stable C12 in the atmosphere presumably identical to the ratio of C14 to C12 in any living organism. After fossilization, death ho gaya. After fossilization or after the man dies, C14 decomposes into C12 at a constant rate for every 5730, for every 5730 years. Half of the given amount C14 is converted into C12 is known as half-life. In this way, in this way we will be finding the half-life period. This is a better. Since we know the rate of this decline, we can measure this ratio in the remains of plants and animals. This method is mainly used in fossilized living beings only. Age of organic substance up to 50,000 year old can only be calculated as I told you earlier. This is about radiocarbon dating method. Thank you. Please subscribe to our channel and all the best my dear students. Thank you.